Hey everyone, I am here with more DLC reviews. This time it's going to be a short one. This is for Aliens vs. Predator Swarm Map Pack, which I got uh, when I got the Hunter Edition. It came with the Hunter Edition. Uh, it just came out the 19th of March, so some people got it if they're hardcore Aliens vs. Predator uh, players. I don't. I think it. I think it got. I, I think it's free for PC users, but I'm not completely sure. I got it for free because I got the Hunter Edition. Obviously, I said. Uh, and I'm gonna go through all uh, all the maps for this uh, new map pack. You get two for regular maps and two for. Uh, I mean, two for regular multiplayer matches and two for survival matches. I'm gonna go through them. Uh, pretty good. Uh, I have it right here, so I. Don't forget the names because I only played the maps a couple times. I played uh, the survival maps only once each, so just so I can do this little review. So yeah, the first one is Docks, which is actually a uh, it's like a big area. Definitely good for us. Uh, you know, actually, I'll show you the page right there. So yeah, here we go. I'll show you the page where I'm reading it, so you don't need to stare at my face the whole time. Okay, first you got Docks, which is uh, kind of like a big area. Definitely good for Predator. I I realize. Uh, because it, I played it on Predator Hunt and I played it on Infestation, and I mean it's definitely fun for Infestation. Definitely, definitely when you're in a building and there's a whole bunch of holes in the ground and in the wall, so you don't know where the alien's coming through. But definitely good for Predator because same reason because you don't know where he'll come from, and your your things beeping and you're like, oh shit, where is he? Oh, the dots there, but that's my friend. Oh my god, ah, dead. Uh, so yeah, Docs is definitely a fun one. Machine, which is kind of like a refinery. If you play the game, it's a uh, oh, like a uh, definitely an aliens-esque version because it's a uh, very, very, very small. Uh, and but the difference between this and refinery is that you can go outside. And when you go outside, it's more predator-esque because it's outside and he could like jump on stuff and kill you when you're not looking. But it's definitely I played on Infestation, Predator Hunt, and Team uh, Deathmatch, which is Species Deathmatch, and it's definitely fun for all three. So definitely really good. So so far it's starting out really good. Let's go into the two Survivor maps, which I could care less about. I do like Survivor, but I didn't care for either one of these. Uh, that's why I only played them once. Outpost, which is kind of like a... Uh, it's like a... It's kind of... I can't really explain it, really. It's it's boring, I really have to admit. It's like... Uh, you're in a place... <laughs> you're in a place... Boring. Let me just say that. Boring. Hive is kind of like a uh, aliens esque. I always keep I keep saying esque. I, I just re realized that word. And there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, eggs. You know, like the eggs for the face huggers around. It's very very fun. That one's very very fun. But I still care less because I don't really completely like Survivor. I might have said I did. I don't really care about it. But it was kind of fun. Definitely fun because they added that stuff. So yep. Uh, overall, the swarm map pack is a. Uh, Pretty decent, I have to admit. Outpost, I could care less about, but Hive, I actually really like, and Docs and Machine, I really do. So if I don't know how much this is actually going for, I could check right now. But if it's going for 400, then I would definitely recommend it. If it's going for a higher, like 800, then maybe wait until it gets lower. Maybe if it does, I'm not sure. I'm gonna check it right now. The cost of the map pack. Okay, it just said the cost of the map pack. Anyway, I didn't. I I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. Definitely pretty decent for. A really good game, at least to me. Oh, it's 560 Microsoft points. I, you know, I would say that's worth it, definitely. Uh, 560. They definitely know how to make a deal. They know how to make a hunter, uh, a limited edition. There it is. It says 699 or 560 Microsoft points. That's worth it, I think, because you get three of them that are actually good. And Outpost is kind of boring. So yeah. Anyway, that's my review. Seven and a half out of ten. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Oh shit. Extreme close-up to my face. No. Actually, it's not up close-up, so never mind. No, no extreme close-up to my face. Anyway, it's kind of a throwaway video. More DLC reviews coming on the way. So, yeah. I might review that game room thing Xbox is doing. I'm not sure. But anyway, there you go. Throwaway video. Thanks and bye.